bad. Well, many of us forget during the winter that the Henry Vila Zoo is still open. Yes, you gotta remind us is Erin Flynn from the zoo and she's brought her buddy, a hedgehog. <laughs> and this one is unique because this hedgehog is albino. Yeah, that actually means that it has no color in mm -hmm. its skin, hair, or eyes. So the red eye mm -hmm. actually comes from um, the muscle in our eye is mm -hmm. where we have the color in our eye. Okay. And because he doesn't have any color, you actually see through to the back of his eye, which is kind of cool oh, wow. if you think about it. So it's all that blood vessels and things in there. Um, in the wild, mm -hmm. this does happen, but you don't see too many of them because if it's a predator animal, the prey can usually see them, so it doesn't live too long. Mm -hmm. And if it's a prey animal, the predators can usually see them, mm -hmm. so they don't live too long. So you tend to see more of these uh, in in captive situations. So this guy's from the desert you mentioned? Yes, this is an African pygmy hedgehog. So he's actually from the desert environment. Um, he eats He can't be digging insects. this weather too much. <laughs> no. That's why he has a heat yeah. pad. <laughs> um, he actually eats mostly insects, but he would also eat plants or other t types of meat that he would come across. And his really cool defensive mechanism, as you might guess from looking at him, are these spines that he's covered mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. Now these are modified hair but they're quite prickly. I mean, you can mm -hmm. go ahead and have yeah. a... Oh, yeah. Oh, when dude, you're prickly. When he's nervous, yeah. oh, he'd curl yeah. into a ball, and he mm -hmm. can actually suck his head and all his, his arms in. And these would stand up, so they'd be far more prickly. He's pretty relaxed right now. The, the hedgehogs in the wild, do they live in a, a, a community, or are they pretty much on their own? They're pretty much on their own, yeah. especially the males. They kind of respect mm -hmm. one another's distance. Mm -hmm. and okay. It's all about the food. Uh, of <laughs> so course. You want to keep your own area with your food. Since this particular one is protected because he's with you, what, what are their, um, the lifespan then? The lifespan in the wild would be two or three mm -hmm. years for this species. Mm -hmm. In captivity, they can live eight to 10 years. And okay. that has to do with having vet care mm -hmm. and not having to have, you know, worry about predators or where to find your dinner. It's a pretty cushy life. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How many do you have at the, how many hedgehogs at the zoo? We have two hedgehogs okay. at the zoo. Yep, so these guys are pretty happy with us, like to come out and see people. Where can they find them at the zoo if folks want to come out and take a look at this? These are in our Discovery Center. Discovery Center. Mm -hmm. okay. Discovery Center. Okay. okay. Good. All right, no reason to not head to the zoo. <laughs> okay. Excellent, we'd love to see you there. Okay, you thank you. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.